Hello, my name is Steve Hughes. As you can see, there's a lot of chaos going in my office right now, trying to figure out where the different types of permanent life insurance policies, and that's what this video is about today. We're going to talk about whole life and permanent insurance in particular. We're going to talk about the different types of insurance. And by the way, if you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell below, make a comment. I'm always available by email, text, or even a phone call if there's anything I can do to help you. We talk about everything related to the IMOs, financial services, the comp plans, the products. We even talk about the recruiters who are just recruiting but know nothing about having to tell you how to sell insurance and how to succeed and learn the skills necessary to succeed in this business. This video is part of the new 2020 Agent Success Academy. You can watch them free right here on the YouTube channel. If you want to give us a thumbs up, buy us a cup of coffee or a McDonald's Happy Meal, go over to our Patreon channel. We're going to have some exclusive content there where we're going to really dive in and try to teach some of you who are stuck with IMOs or companies that are not teaching you and you really need some additional training on the skills necessary to succeed because you should succeed here because we need you out in the field and more important, the clients that are in bad need of what we do here in terms of protecting their families need you. So don't take no for an answer and, and don't be out there struggling to try to find the information. Go over there, sign up for less than a cup of coffee. You can be part of that channel and get some really hardcore in-depth training. So in the last video, we talked about term insurance. On this video, we're going to discuss the different types of permanent life insurance policies. More specifically, whole life and permanent insurance. There are four basic types of permanent insurance. Whole life is the first one. Now underneath whole life, you have joint life or joint whole life and you have survivorship life. You're not going to see a lot of that kind of stuff in our industry, but it's out there. Universal life, variable life, and then you have variable universal life. Now the purpose of this video again is to make sure you understand what's available and what are the differences so you can best serve your client. Whole life or permanent insurance pays a death benefit whenever your client dies. Even if you live to age 100, there are three major types of whole life or permanent life insurance. Traditional whole life, universal whole life, and variable universal whole life. And there are variations of course within each type. Now, in the case of traditional whole life, both the death benefit and the premium are designed to stay the same. In other words, the level throughout the life of the policy. The cost per $1,000 for that insurance, in other words, if you have a $100,000 policy, the cost per $100,000 of coverage increases as the insured person ages. And obviously, it gets very high when the insured lives to age 80 and beyond. The insurance company could charge a premium that increases each year, but that would make it very hard for most people to be able to afford the insurance at their advanced age. So the company keeps the premium level throughout the whole policy guaranteed, right? It's guaranteed level coverage, guaranteed level premium by charging a premium that in the early years is higher than what's needed to pay the claims. Now this is an easy concept to understand. As they get older, the cost of insuring them is getting to be more and more expensive. But in the early days, if we charge more than the cost, in other words, we're overfunding the policy, the cost of insurance is down here, but I'm paying this much. That difference is the money that the insurance company is gonna invest. And by using it to supplement the level premium and help pay the cost and help stop. And then they use that to supplement the level premium to help pay the cost of life insurance in those advanced years. So in other words, the cost of covering that person goes up every year, but the insurance company is keeping the premiums level because you're overpaying at the earlier years. I think that makes sense. I do have a video over here that I'll try to reference that goes through that IUL savings bucket and how to make sure it doesn't implode on your clients. By law, when these overpayments reach a certain amount, they must be available to the policy owner as a cash value if he or she decides not to continue with the original plan. The cash value is an alternative. It's not an additional benefit under the policy, okay? Now in the 70s and the 80s, life insurance companies introduced 
two variations on traditional whole life product. One, universal life insurance, and two, variable universal life insurance. So let's take a closer look at some of the most popular or talked about types of permanent insurance coverage. One, obviously, is whole or ordinary life. This is the most common type of permanent insurance. It offers a death benefit along with a savings account. So if you pick this type of life insurance policy, you are agreeing to pay a certain amount in premiums on a regular basis for a specific death benefit, and the savings element would grow based on the dividends the company pays to you. Now, universal or adjustable life, this type of policy offers you more flexibility than whole life insurance, and you may be able to increase the death benefit if you are willing to take and pass a medical examination. The savings vehicle called cash value, right, or a cash value account, generally earns a money market rate of interest after money has been accumulated in your account or in their account. Your clients will also have the option of altering their premium payments, providing there's enough money in their account to cover the cost. This can be a very, very useful feature if their economic situation has suddenly changed out of work, whatever it is, okay? However, they need to keep in mind that if they stop or reduce those premiums, this happens a lot in IULs, they'll pay the minimum premium payment. In other words, they're not paying the target, but they're making the minimum payment. The savings vehicle, if they do that over a large amount of time, the savings account, as the cost of insurance rises, their savings part completely, they keep pulling from it and it depletes until it's, there's nothing there. They're still paying the minimums and it blows up and they're out of coverage. Make sure you understand that concept. I do go in through it very thoroughly on that IUL video, right? So the policy in that situation might lapse and their life insurance coverage would end. You should have them check with you before deciding not to make premium payments for an extended period of time because they may not have enough cash value to pay the monthly charges and that policy would last. The next one is variable life. This policy combines death protection with a savings account that you can invest into stocks, bonds, and money market funds. The value of the policy may grow more quickly, but you also have more risk. If your investments do not perform well, your cash value and your death benefit may decrease. Some policies, however, guarantee that your death benefit will not fall below a minimum level, okay? So you need to check that out on the type of policy that you're selling. Variable universal life. If you're selling this type of policy, your client gets the features of variable and universal life. You have the investment risk and rewards, a characteristic of variable life insurance, coupled with the ability to adjust your premiums and the death benefit. And that is also a characteristic of universal life insurance. Now we've covered permanent. We've covered the various different types. We talked about each one of them and it was a real quick overview. And you can certainly Google each one and get more in-depth information, but this gives you a basic understanding of what these policies are and the benefits. And this is really the start of your learning process. I hope you're enjoying these type of videos. Again, if you're a current subscriber, thank you for being part of this channel. Grateful that you're here. Appreciate you being part of this channel. Let's grow this channel this year to, uh, my goal is 10,000 subscribers that we can get out there and help. And I need you in order to make that happen. If you're brand new, please do subscribe if you like the content. Hit the bell again to get the instant notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Go over to Patreon channel, check it out. If you want to buy us a cup of coffee or maybe help us, you know, with getting some more equipment to kind of class things up a little bit, we're trying to do that. Uh, we'd be grateful for that as well. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.